ain't nobody do me like Jesus. He who has experienced that overwhelming forgiveness of God, they love the most. They love much. Nobody has to beg them. Come on. Nobody has to beg them to praise the Lord. There, there they are. There's some of them. There's some of them are right there. There's some of them right there. That's not all of them, but that's some of them. Nobody has to beg them because they can say what I was and what I'm not, what I am by the grace of God. It all had a purpose. It all had a season. You had to walk through some of that. Or you'd have been as fickle as a backslider in the, in the Baptist church, you know. But they don't even believe in backsliding. You, you had to have a real, real deep place, a deep, deep pit to reach up out of. So you'll never fall in that same kind of pit again. The flame may flicker, whoo! But it'll never die. It'll never go out because something will pull your heart and you'll find your way right back to what you know God has done in your life. No church could have done it for you. No preacher could have done it for you. Come on now. No denomination could have done it for you. This homeland. This is the homeland. That is what's got you out. You may not have even known it, but the Word was seeking for you. The Word was searching for you. The Word was looking for you. And He found you. Yes, He did. Rejoice. Rejoice, somebody. Somebody ought to rejoice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't nobody know like I know what He's done for me. Come on, you do it for him. Like they used to sing, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Hallelujah. You see people dressed up on a Sunday morning that you've worshiped with your whole life. And you think it's always been like that with them. I want you to know there are people here this morning that were in the very far throes of sin. And Jesus, not a church, Jesus found them. But the Bible doesn't say joy is your strength. The Bible says there's a joy that is of divine origin. There's a joy that doesn't come from you. It comes from the one who lives within you. It's not your emotional, you know, effort that gives you joy. It's surrendering all that is unlike joy. It's choosing joy as a strategic position. Not basing it on your condition, but choosing it as a strategic position. Joy is not a luxury. It's necessary. Joy of the Lord, the joy of the Lord is a byproduct of obedience. You obey and you can have the joy of the Lord. You obey and you can have the joy of the Lord. We cannot continue to grieve over the past. It is time to continue our journey to do exactly what Ezra the priest said. Go our way and rejoice at the goodness of God.